Are there any senators in the chamber wishing to vote or wishing to change their vote? If not, on this vote, the yeas are 81, the nays are 18, three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn having voted in the affirmative, the motion is agreed to. Cloture having been invoked, the motion to refer fail, falls. These days, the, you never know who to deal with when it comes to the Republicans. The Republican leaders told me to work out a deal with the White House. The White House said work it out with Republican leaders on the Hill. Separately, President Trump turned away from not one, but two bipartisan compromises. Each would have averted this shutdown. Each would have led to a deal on the budget and health care and disaster aid and things like opioids and veterans and pensions and on immigration. My recent offer to the President was a generous one. I put his signature campaign issue on the table in exchange for DACA, and still he turned away. President Trump's unwillingness to compromise caused the Trump shutdown and brought us to this moment. Since our meeting in the Oval Office on Friday, the President and I have not spoken, and the White House refused to engage in negotiations over the weekend. The great deal-making President sat on the sidelines. Despite and because of this frustration, I've been having conversations with the Republican leader over the weekend about a path forward. After several discussions, offers, counteroffers, the Republican leader and I have come to an arrangement. We will vote today to reopen the government to continue no negotiating a global agreement with the commitment that if an agreement isn't reached by February the 8th, the Senate will immediately proceed to consideration of legislation dealing with DACA. I want to thank the uh, Democratic leader for his comments and his indication that he intends to support the measure before us. I think if we've learned anything, <clears throat> I think if we've learned anything during this uh, process, it's that a strategy to shut down the government over the issue of illegal immigration is something the American people didn't understand and would not have understood in the future. So I'm glad we've gotten past that and we have a chance now to get back to work. And therefore, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the mandatory quorum call be waived.